Well, the question of you know why I went into homeopathy, you can answer that on several levels, but you know, it occurs to me that most people who go into medicine, you know, they want to help people, and really, I think a lot of people are quite idealistic about what they can do in medicine as a doctor, and probably the reality of conventional medicine comes as a bit of a disappointment to people in that they find that in many cases when treating chronic disease conventional medicine yes it can help but it doesn't cure and so one of the great things about homeopathy is that really you're using a therapeutic modality that acts on the healing process in a person. So it actually can allow the body and the mind to heal itself of sometimes very long-standing, very profound illnesses. and. When you see that actually happening, you know, someone coming back and they may have come with joint pains and you're able to find the right homeopathic medicine for them and they come back a month later and they say, yeah. it's a miracle, you know, my joint pain is less than it's been for 15 years. But they don't only say that, they also say, and I'm sleeping so much better and I've got more energy than I can remember having and I'm just feeling happier and I'm actually getting on with my husband again and you know my appetites come back and <clears throat> you see this wonderful general change in the person for the better and you know everyone's illness is different everyone's illness is unique we don't fit into neat little boxes of particular kinds of illness. Everyone brings their own state with them, which is usually a combination of depletion of energy and mental complexes of anger or resentment or jealousy or depression and things that have been going on often for many, many years. And the wonderful thing about homeopathy is that it doesn't really matter what the patient throws at you, it can all be useful information. And actually, you have to take everything into account because you're treating the whole person. So, you're, you have to learn everything about that person which is disturbed. Everything physically, everything emotionally, everything mentally, everything socially, everything in their life that is not working is part of the total picture that a homeopath looks at. And you then match it with the state that we have come to learn of a certain homeopathic medicine, a certain substance from the natural world. <clears throat> and if you can do that, the change is profound and then you expect everything about that person to be getting better, not just their chief complaint, not just their pain or their asthma or their depression, but everything else about them. What, what persuaded you to start with homeopathy? What inspired you to become a homeopath? You know, the, the real answer to that is that it was just pure instinct. It wasn't really a rational decision. Uh, when I discovered homeopathy, it just... You know, at first I thought, these are unusual concepts. These are... Really, they seem to be very different to how conventional medicine and conventional science looks at things, but there was something which really grabbed my attention and I studied them a bit more and then really it was just an instinctive thing I thought yes this is a, a system of medicine that really attracts me because it it brings everything in life together it brings bio biology 
botany, zoology, chemistry, physics, and psychology, all these disciplines are of immediate importance in homeopathy. And you're using like, the wonders of nature, our knowledge of chemistry, our knowledge of plants and animals, and the more we can understand the nature of things in, in the world, their biology, their, their chemistry, the more we can apply that to people, to, to patients. And you find there is a, an amazing correspondence between the state of ill health that people get into and certain substances in the natural world. And uh, how beca uh, be uh, began your your way, your path? Just what was this moment of decision? Well, when I was a, in fact, the, the first contact I had with homeopathy was when I got an interview at medical school. Uh, to enter medical school, I thought I don't want to turn up and not know anything. I'll go to the local library and go to the medical section and, and just read some books before I go. And so I went to the library and my eye just fell. There was a book that said homeopathy in, in the medical section. My eye just fell on it and that's the book that I pulled down. And uh, then in my third year of medical school you had to go to um, a hospital for a period of time and I chose the Royal London Homeopathic Hospital. And in the fourth year, we had to do some original research. He spent nine months actually doing some original research. Every student had to do it. And I chose to do a double-blind placebo-controlled trial of house dust my 30, which is the homeopathic potency of house dust, in the treatment of house dust allergy. And it was amazing. We had about 60 people in the trial and the results were dramatic, really statistically significant. Um, all the sneezing and itching and blocked nose and even asthma was better. And, you know, that was just profoundly exciting to me to see that you could just give one little pill to someone every two weeks, three doses all together, and after a month they came back and these dramatic changes. I thought, wow, this is the kind of medicine I want to practice. You know, people actually being cured of long-standing symptoms. That was just very exciting and I couldn't understand why everyone else wasn't doing it. <laughs> because, you know, much more satisfying than just using drugs which damp down symptoms and don't really cure. I'm not knocking conventional medicine, I support conventional medicine, it has, you know, an important place. But homeopathy can exist alongside all the benefits of conventional medicine because, like it or not, conventional medicine does not get everyone better. And, in fact, most of the people coming to homeopaths are people who've I've tried all the conventional medicines and they're still not well. Do you, do you remind some nice cases of what you witnessed in your patients, what, what happened? Some yeah, real, real illustrative cases. Well, I'm thinking especially, <clears throat> you know, what comes to mind these days are treating young people. In the last two, three years in my practice, I've been practicing homeopathy full-time for 30 years, but in the last two, three years, probably the, the largest group of new patients I'm seeing are teenagers and young people in their 20s. And their problems are varied, but to do with anxiety, depression, drug addiction, and just simply not making it in life. You know, youngsters who are, I think it's always been hard to be young, but I think it's especially difficult now. Um, 
the financial pressures, uh, everything that the digital age brings. Um, it seems to just really increase the pressures. So, <clears throat> you know, I'm thinking of a, a youngster I saw recently, a 16 year old girl came, she had acne and was suffering horrible bullying and teasing at school, but that had been going on for years. And she just basically cried the whole way through the first consultation. And it was really quite sad. And, you know, she would, at lunchtime, she said she would just go and hide in the toilets or, so she was having a horrible time. And what she hated was being looked at. She kept talking about, I, I don't like to be looked at. I just want to hide. And the remedy beryllium is a mineral remedy which is very good for youngsters who are having difficulty going out into life, especially when this is very self-conscious and constantly feel people looking at them and this sense of just wanting to hide. So that's the remedy I gave her. And the transformation when she came back a month later was just miraculous, you know laughing, happy, and just much more confident. And strangely enough, you know, the bullying had just stopped. <laughs> and, you know, the fact is that there's no excuse for bullying, but if you're in a certain state, you're going to attract negative behavior <laughs> towards you from others. It's almost like they can't help themselves. You draw it out of them. And this is you know, one of the illustrations of how powerful homeopathy is because it essentially brings about a, a shift in consciousness in people. And it doesn't just get rid of their spots. It helps them on a much more profound level. It's a shift in consciousness so that from one day to the next they feel different, are different. They can be the healthy, balanced, strong, happy, side of themselves that wasn't there before. And when you're in that positive state, you attract positive things to you. Nice people come into your life, you're treated better. So for me that this is a miracle. And <clears throat> you know, people quite often when they come to see homeopaths these days, you know, they say things like, I'm desperate, I don't know what I'm gonna do if you can't help me. You know, I'm not looking for a, a miracle doctor and I say yes you are. <laughs> I said, we need a miracle. And, you know, the right homeopathic medicine can work miracles. So it's, it's profoundly exciting. And I don't, I don't lose my sense of awe and wonder when people come back and they're like that. But I do expect it, you know, a few times a week for people to come back and tell me they've changed like that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome.